OK, now if this was a volcanic island, it's going to be quite mountainous. Let's mark out where our high ground is going to be. Campaign Cartographer lets you map out your trains in all manner of ways. In the map that we just viewed previously, you can see that I, I did not really use much in the way of contour lines, but I did use a soft brown area in behind my mountains to highlight them. We're going to accomplish that effect by coming over here to the Contour Lines tool and right clicking. You can see that we've got many different types of contour colours here that you would typically draw on top of each other. I only need one of them for this type of mapping. I'm going to use the Contour Default 12, sort of a really rich brown colour. There we go. Now, if our ocean line is moving this way and this way, that would seem that there's probably volcanic activity along two stress points here and here. So our mountain ranges primarily are going to be along here and probably into here. In that case, I'm going to start my drawing by just simply left clicking, left clicking again, left clicking again. And as you can see, I'm getting a curved area for my, mount my mountain range contour. And right click, there we go. A sort of weird boomerangy type shape. And I might put a little bit more of a mountain range there, maybe an older one, mountain range. And definitely some mountains on this island. We'll make this one very mountainous because we might put an active volcano there a bit later. And a little bit of mountain on here. There we go. Doesn't look very good at the moment, but don't worry. We're now going to start looking at a really advanced function inside Campaign Cartographer that makes your mapping so much easier and so much more standardized.